And if it gets one degree hotter, I'm going to kick your ass. I guess the whole make a direct video whatever Tom and Jerry movie started in 2007. Because this is the same kind of art style and thing that happened with Tom and Jerry and Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. Everybody raise a cheer. Maybe because we know he's here. Okay, by the sound of it, Tom's just mouthing the words. Because he has a very distinct voice. And yes, he has talked before. And not only in the original cartoon, but in his feature length movie with Jerry. Remember that? Here's a clip. I'm Tom. I'm Jerry. You, you talked. talked! Well, sure I talked. What do you think I am, a dummy? You said it. I didn't. Ah, you little pipsqueak. I ought to... Hey! How come you never spoke before? Well, there was nothing I wanted to say that I thought you'd understand. And there still isn't. So, what exactly happens here? It's not Christmas spirit, joy, Santa, anything like that. It is... Just someone hands Jerry a blank check to perform the Nutcracker Suite. If I had a nickel for every time Jerry was just given a girlfriend in one of these movies, I'd have two nickels, which isn't a lot, but... But it's weird that it happened twice, right? Somehow Tom is able to stick Jerry, a humanoid ornament, and a miniature horse toy in a coffee can. On top of firing the thing and not destroying the toys, Jerry, or the can itself. Follow the star? Now I guess that's worked before! It's so meta, surreal, to see a Jesus reference in a Nutcracker suite. Okay, so the only organics in here are t Jerry, Tuffy, or Nibbles, whatever, Tom and the other cats from the alley. So, who are these people? All right, I've got a confession to make. I'm not really a toy. I'm only a decoration, an ornament, not suitable for play. Really? I thought you were like one of those elf on a shelf things. And if you're an ornament, who the hell hangs ornaments of like creepy little elf things on their tree? Come on, Jer, you can do it. Don't give up, buddy! What a wonderful thing to see in a Nutcracker Suite, which is a, basically a Christmas movie. The main character, who is a child-friendly icon, drowning. Only way to make this even more morbid is to put this music to it. the showing of Tom and Jerry and Nutcracker Tale to bring you that one scene from uh, Disney's Peter Pan. Um, okay, I guess there's a dragon now with a rattlesnake tail. Ah, who am I kidding? The Barbie uh, Nutcracker had a rock giant. I'm learning so much about this new species of dragon that it can apparently breathe fire fairies to life. You know, I kind of dig what this movie's trying to do. Being a rip-off of Fantasia, just animating everything to the music of the Nutcracker Suite. But, it's not bad. Once and off. When the sun rises, the magic that created your kingdom will begin to fade. And if you fail to reclaim your throne by the time the sun has climbed into the sky, it will remain the domain of the cats forever. But what does it matter if it remains theirs forever? The magic will cease to be by sunrise. Therefore, it won't be their kingdom anymore. It'll just be the stage. Wait, so the thing Jerry needed to free the toy kingdom from the cat king is a bunch of clockwork wind-up soldiers. They're toys. They, they can be overpowered just like the other toys in the kingdom. 